At the level of frame to frame or frame by frame or one single frame, um, the function that an editor is employing is timing. And timing is huge. As they are fond of saying in comedy, timing is everything. So timing, one aspect of timing is choosing precisely which frame. And I have frequently found in the edit suite that you can change a meaning of a gesture completely with one frame. You can have somebody who is starting to smile or you can catch them as they have smiled. And that can be a distance of one frame. And if they fully smile, it's going to mean something completely different than if they start to smile or if they don't smile at all. So just you know, within one frame, five frames, whatever it is, you can completely change the meaning of an interchange between two characters. If, he, if she starts to smile and he looks away, or if she fully smiles and he looks away, or if she doesn't smile at all and he looks away. You have, a different, you have a different relationship between those two people. When you talk about the completion of a gesture or the audience completing a gesture, you're talking about something that is very context sensitive. Um, audiences will very quickly and increasingly quickly recognize visual imagery. They'll recognize the start of a smile or they'll recognize other kinds of gestures. Um, great deal of visual acuity in contemporary audiences. Um, however, it is context sensitive because it depends what the editor throws to. So for example, if character A starts to smile and the editor throws to a door slamming, the audience is more likely to startle at the door slamming than take the time to finish their smile. If the character starts to smile and the editor throws to a field of daisies, yes, very likely the audience will continue the emotion, the emotion of the gesture that's been started in the first shot. Music and sound also become huge factors in this context sensitive question. I have to say that um, when the editor and director communicate to the composer, for example, what the meaning is that they're trying to communicate, the composer can really have a huge influence on whether that smile continues or not, depending how they treat it musically.